Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another Power Platform for Newbies episode. So this is our final one focusing on Power Virtual Agents um, and creating bots. So in the first video, we put together a simple request on filing an expense reimbursement. The second video, we put together a little bit more dynamic bot um, in regards to requesting for vacation time. And so now we're gonna show you how to um, include that to where it will automatically email your manager whenever you or not your manager but whenever a colleague enters in the information with the bot it will email their manager the request so that it's officially filed as a formal request for vacation time so i've got my colleague andre here with me teaching me as the dummy hey andre hi ray how's it going very good thank you how are you i'm great as well thank you all right so i'm excited for this because I think you told me that this includes an integration with Power Automate, correct? You're right, but it's a, a simple integration. You'll see that's really easy to do it. And okay. yep. So how how about we we go straight to it? All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be a, a short one, I think. So first thing we need to do is uh in the second lesson about the, the Power Virtual Agents where we created the PTO request. We we said a message like, uh, "What's your email?" Instead of instead of having this, let's change to, "What's your manager email?" So let's go okay. to topics, and then let's, this one. Yes, let's access it. Let's just change it. We we could have like your email, and then in the Power Power Automate, we we could grab from the office like, "What's your manager?" What which uh, is registered to you. To your user right so but we we can simplify it let's change the question like the email question yes please, please enter. enter your manager's email address perfect all right uh -huh. okay so now let's save it save in fact let's 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 stick here let's continue here and let's okay. let's uh create the action that we want to do so if you scroll to the very bottom right before it closes like right right before it ends the conversation we, we have a thank you message yeah let's call an action here let's call an power automate action like we that's set, the plus sign yes this one uh-huh add note oh call an action okay. call an action perfect and let's create a new flow that's it oh okay so it should show up a power automate uh, flow. Let's start by renaming it. It's called right now Power Virtual Here. Agents. Yeah, flow template. Let's call it email manager or something like this. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is we need to map the variables from the, the Power Virtual Agents, the bot, to the variables here, the inputs in the in the Power Automate. So if you you need to add five new inputs, OK, so you add can, an input. Yeah, you, text, can, add a, you can add them. No, all of them can be taxed. We didn't okay. ask for numbers or yes or no questions there. So let's it's good practice if we name exactly like we, we have it there. So if you navigate to your other tab so so we can remember what we named our variables. Uh, so they were department name, name, email, PTO date and PTO reason. That's it. So let's let's copy from here and and okay. search here. So I put department here. Oops. Yep. Department. Add another input. Uh huh. That's it. So just that's keep going. Keep going. Department. Department names. Email right. It's the manager email. Yep. Uh. PTO reason and PTO date, right? Yeah. Eight. Once we add the, after we add the flow in the bot, then we're going to, to explicitly map these inputs that we are adding in the flow to the variables we have in the Power Automate. It's going to be, clear once we go back there, but trust me, this is going to work. 
Okay. All right. OK, so now we are going to keep it very simple. We're just going to add an action, which is uh, send an email and then we're good. Like this one. No, this one we wouldn't need. Like this is used when we want to send some information to the flow from the bot to the flow, and then we want to return the information back to, to uh, keep the to conversation the going. Yeah, for example, if you want to to uh, to verify what's going to be the, the weather forecast for the next weekend, or if you want to translate something, so you send this to the Power Virtual Agent, oh, sorry, you send this to Power Automate, and then you send it back to Power Virtual Agent. So any processing that you can do here, you can send it back. But in, in this case, the last action would be send an email and then we're good. So we can remove this last step there. So if you click in the three little dots, the ellipses. This one? Yep. And then delete. OK. OK. And then new we're going step. to new step. Yes. You can search for email in the top bar. This one, uh huh. And then let's use send an email V2 from Outlook. This one. Okay. okay. Why not V3? Uh, you can use a V3 as well. Doesn't okay. matter. Just asking. Yep. So let's let's search. Let's insert here the email. So you would need to add dynamic content. The right. And then you would pick from the variables that you yep, be, uh -huh, email. email. Yes, in the subject, you can type what you want your managers to receive it. And then you can use the variables. Oh, OK, so we can say from and then like put their name. Uh, yes. Like that. All yes, right. awesome. We can use variables again here too. You can use as well. Yep. This is the body of the email. Yep. Oh, yes. Awesome. So now I can just add in all this information. That, yeah, it's, it's it, yes. If you hit enter, it's going to break lines. Uh, you oh, wouldn't need the email. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, PTO date. PTO reason. That's Perfect. It. Yeah. OK, so now we can save it. So our flow is ready to go. Let's say, and then we we're going to insert it in our Power Virtual Agents. So just that was so easy to do, like yeah, we just, just uh, and the fact that you like can use all the variables, it basically puts all the information automatically populated in. So, do we go back to the page or do we go back to Power Virtual Agents? Let's go back to Power Virtual Agents because okay. we're going to insert the flow there. So we created the flow. So now if you go again to to add an action, to call an action, right? So just add a node there. Um, Where, here? Yeah, it can be here or after it. It doesn't matter because it's going to be next to this message. So. Uh, here. Yeah. OK. Call an action. And right now, because you have created the flow, it's going to show up here. Oh. Email manager Email for manager. Interesting. Uh -huh. So okay. now we're going to map. So the variables that we have here in the Power Virtual Agents, we're going to map to the variables we created in the Power Automate. So let's just uh, assign. I match them? Yeah, matching them. Uh huh. The department. Seems pretty simple. Yeah, great. Uh, and that's it. So let's save, save. And let's yeah, let's save and let's test it. It should take a few seconds. It's crazy how it only took a few minutes to put this together and it can really save a lot of time. I publish it. Yeah, if you publish it, we can test in the demo page. All right. So you thought it was easy? Yeah, super easy. Yeah, it's, okay. it's really intuitive. Uh huh. So let's go to demo, demo website. Yeah. All right. I'll say good morning. Let's say PTO request.
let's say we want Christmas off. Oh no, yeah. I think we have to do it the digital way, the numbers. I think um, it's, it would be able to understand. Oh, it would. Oh. Yeah. PTO. All right. And so now, can't we go to um, to Power Automate and check the flow to make sure it ran? Oh, good Didn't idea. We that last time. Yes, yes, it's a it's a it's a it's a good idea. So let's go back to our flow, the last tab. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you hit the back arrow, yeah, so you can see that it was triggered 42 seconds ago where you insert when you. Uh, Finish the, the your interaction with the bot and it succeeded. So if you click the date there, you can see that send you, you the Power Automate sent the email. So if you click send an email, there we go. This 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 uh -huh. was the email that was sent. Awesome! Yay! <laughs> that was super easy. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I definitely think that this is something that organizations can easily implement and use. So thanks for teaching uh, this to me and hopefully some of our viewers will be able to learn a new trick or two. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. It was really easy awesome. to do this. Well, thanks for joining us for Power Platform for Newbies and join us um, next time. I think we'll be moving to our last topic on the Power Platform, which will be Power BI. That should be really interesting. Yeah, this this is going to be a good one as well. Awesome. Well, thanks, Andre. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks, Ray. You too. See bye. you. Bye. Bye-bye.